Hey YouTube, this is Dan with Point 50 Farms. Uh, here's that doe again that I did the video on nesting behavior. Now here's some more of it. Uh, look at her. She's just pulling that fur out. If we can get at her to, to look at us here. Her whole cheeks are full of... Uh, yeah, there you go. Look how full her cheeks are. She's got fur pulled out. Uh, we're going to have babies here probably within a few hours. Uh, I don't know if, if the happens here in the next little bit I'm gonna to try to get it on on tape uh, I think that'd be kind of cool uh, she's a pretty good mama but anyway this has been kind of fun to watch her and be able to have the video camera up and running but yeah <laughs> she's got those cheeks completely stuffed full of of her fur and you can kind of see down in there how she's uh, made a nice little hole in her nest box and this mom over here she uh, she's really burrowed down she hasn't started pulling fur yet but she normally doesn't until right right uh, about the same time that she has them and she gets them all stuffed down in there really good but uh, I had a comment on one of my other videos uh, about if these nest boxes are small too small for them these uh the dimensions on them are uh about 12 inches i think they're a little over 12 and they're nine tall uh i went with that just for the simple fact that well part of it was to be able to fit them inside these cages uh and when i i had my bigger nest boxes i i've got rid of all of those i was losing about half of my litters in them uh, so I, I went with a got thinking about it because basically what happened is you know part of the litter would get get lost uh, and get away from the rest of them and 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 freeze and I was having that happen oh uh, I was losing about ha half I had a litter of, of eight I was ended up raising you know three or four and uh, those were with the Rexes but these New Zealands seem to be a little bit better mom but uh, Anyway, that's why I went with a little bit smaller nest box. I haven't had any problems with them. Uh, I also had problems with moms uh, going in and, and basically sitting on them and, and crushing them that way when the nest box is too big. Uh, with these nest boxes, I, I just haven't had that problem. Uh, I'll go over here and find uh, this one right here. Kind of show you the bottom of them. I do have a solid, solid bottom on them. Then I just drilled holes in them. I haven't cleaned cleaned this one yet, but uh, I had problem with some of them uh, hopping out and, or getting drug out from the mom's uh, nursing. So I just screwed a, a one by two onto them, and that solved that problem. So if I start seeing babies getting drug out from nursing, I swap out. Usually I'll, I swap out the nest box uh, about three, four days after litter's born and, and put in a, a new nest box with, with some fresh uh, straw. Uh, I don't have that much straw right now. I need to get another couple bales so I can do that. But anyway, there's there's those and you know, here's, here's, the, here's the crew. Here's the cow crew. We're out. I'm not sure what they're doing. What are you guys doing today? Uh, we've been racing on the horses for 30 years. For 30 years. Wow. All my horse knows how to do is run. Uh, just All run, my huh? horse knows how to do is run and lift. Me All right. Too. You too? Yeah. All right. Well, that's kind of what happens here at Point 50. There's a, a lot of horse races. Here's a, this mama here. She's starting to concern me. I haven't had a litter out of her before, but she keeps on digging all of the, the straw out of the nest box uh, and kicking it all over. So. She's right on top of it. Uh, hopefully, she'll have her litter in the nest box. If she doesn't, I don't know what I want to do with her. I'll probably give her one more shot, and we'll see. But she is due uh, today as well, uh, today or tomorrow. They're, all three of these were bred on the same day. So, anyway, uh, that's all I have right now. But, We'll close it out with with this uh, with her pulling some fur. We're gonna have we're gonna have babies here in just a little while. Anyway, talk to you soon.
Thanks. Hey YouTube, it's Dan. I'm going to talk a little quiet here. We've had a little bit of action going on. Uh, I believe she's still pulling fur, but this is just some new behavior that I haven't seen before. Uh, it's pretty interesting. I'm not sure if she just had one or if she's just in the process or she's probably just uh, in labor right now, but she's made a couple of the noises here, here and there. But I'll just kind of keep filming here for a few minutes and we'll see what happens. Uh, I know it's been pretty fascinating because most times this happens while I'm at work or while we're we're in, in bed at night. So yeah, I've seen him pull fur and stuff, but uh, not quite this this active right here inside the nest box. But anyway, I I'll probably uh, cut in and out for the next little bit because I'm, I'm pretty sure she's gonna have them here uh, pretty quick. So anyway, thanks for watching. We'll uh, keep you updated. Hey YouTube, uh, guess what? There's a whole bunch of babies right there. There's a whole bunch of them. Oh, we've got, I don't even know how many, but I'm going to jump out of here and uh, I don't know. I think I pretty much caught the whole thing on film, but I want to get out of here uh, so she can take care of them. But we've got a whole bunch of brokens there. Uh, looks like some some chestnuts, but these were I, I believe I got caught it pretty much all on film. So I want to get out of here and uh, let her do her thing. Good job, Mama. Good job. Uh, I'll I'll give it a day or two and we'll count them and we'll have a, a baby update Anyway, that's pretty exciting. Good job mom and Here's the proud papa right here He's the He's the sire to him. So anyway, that's probably the coolest thing I've seen today Hope you all enjoy this video